Hello hennies, how we all holding up, how we all diddly doing? I put a video up the other day and it was basically trying to turn the entire world into a smog world and... Well, it didn't happen, Marlo, please, it did not happen. But granted, I did have big ambitions and I did say I want all over the world, every single world to be smog. I kind of only focused on one sub-district because I couldn't get that one sub-district to turn into smog. So then I thought, well, there's no point trying to get the rest of the world to turn into smog. And then Sim Guru Frost done his little slide in my DMs and gave me an FYI of that you need to have more than just one lot trying to ruin the world. I did do two lots. I done one home and I done one community lot. I don't know whether community lots play a part with that. It might do. You never quite know. So basically what we're going to do is go back in today and I'm going all out honey. Every single lot in this world. Carbon footprint. You know them adverts where it's like you better get off the bus one stop before if you want to save the world. I'm like nah honey. I'm getting off two stops later. So today we're going to ruin the world. Um, that's the plan. Let's see how it goes. Let's get Smoggy Lads attempt too because apparently I didn't do the first attempt right but also if this still doesn't work yeah I would like to have words and if it does work right yeah I'm sorry <laughs> You know what, I've really, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I'm going to be honest with you, lovelies, I, I genuinely, genuinely hope this works. I was big, fat, genuinely disappointed that we couldn't make the world more smoggy, but if we can make the world more smoggy, and it is easier to make the world more smoggy, I'm all for ruining the economy. I mean, what's it called? The ecosystem, but also the economy if you want to, yeah. I'm not afraid. Nothing new to me, darling. Nothing new to me. Oh, wait, I'm dead, Anna. I can control the world from beyond the grave. It's all right, part two. Oh, good God. <laughs> I just love to see it. Right, I'm going to go in. The Harris family. Honestly, this family do have some backstory, you know. Not that you can tell because my camera's covering it right now, but you know what? You can imagine. There's there's a paragraph there. This is not EA approved, so I don't know how true this actually is. They sell the wacky backy, the devil's lettuce, the Marie Joanna. Are you telling me? Are you telling me? If attics worked in The Sims 4, then they'd definitely be like in the attic. I live in Millsbury. I've seen enough of this stuff to know where this stuff happened. Do you know what I mean? Not that I've actually ever done it myself, right? So don't be charging me. I've just walked past houses during Christmas time and you've been able to see easily. Anyway, moving on from this. There is row one. And then also the water generator. Oh, no, that's the fountain in it. I mean, we could get decorative with things. Do you know what I mean? Never say never love. This atmospheric water generator, right? If we just place loads of them here. Well, this family is run out of money. They need to start growing that. Marie Joanna. Add fuel, add fuel, add fuel, add fuel. Is it still sounding like words here? Because it's not to me. <laughs> Sometimes if I really want to start feeling that existential dread, I'll just say my name over and over and over. And then I don't actually recognise my own name. And then I'm out here like, do I actually exist? And then if I look in a mirror, it, it freaks me out. Because then I'm realising that I'm looking at myself through my own eyes but it's actually somebody else's eyes and I'm going through a lot of them in it I don't know if you can tell I don't know you make a difference I am truly preoccupied she's just coming me out look she's trying to put a stop to it I think nah not in my lot this is lasting a while I feel bad like trying to fast forward to death but also I think it's got to be done oh there we oh you're a very nasty nah, girl the sheer power of industry and now we wait I suppose I don't talk to Tarahis I'm sorry oh my good god oh <laughs> Hey, hens. Oh my God, it's literally hens. It's plural. There's multiple hens. Did the Sims team do this for me? I don't think that they did, but you know what? I just think I want to take it that way. So to the Sims team, listen, even if I don't ruin the world, I think we've got some good going here. I think you might be redeemed in my eyes for now. But now, thank you, let's not go too fast with our relationship, thanking you. I'm still waiting. I'm going to give each house, like, enough time to uh, be ruined a little bit. Cletus is family-oriented. I love that. At least the family aren't, as you know. If they go down, they're going down together. Sometimes, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you, is, uh, like, I do get scared about the world ending. Maybe that's why I keep trying to do it in The Sims 4, like, face my fears head on. Sometimes, I honestly, I, I think about my mind and I'm like... Girl, you're doing too much. Yay, my neighbourhood's ego footprint is neutral. For the rest of them, I might just like do a basis of how save it to my gallery, put it in every other world, and then I can just plippity plop, put eco lifestyle to the stop, and ruin every asthmatic's life. One fireplace at a time. I can say that because I've got asthma, by the way. Ah, home, sweet home, eh? Beautiful, Hugh. Disabled household needs to care. We don't need it. Caring for yourself could never be me, loves. It's going down. It's yelling timber. Time to impact the eco footprint. I'm not falling for your schemes, EA. Don't tell me what to do. I'm a 21st century modern gal. I haven't listened to a man since 1995, and that was when God told me to pop myself out the womb. The voting period is almost over. Sharing is caring is in the lead. But the worst one, honestly, I've actually played with that one, and it. it, it no. So we've also actively got to oppose these plants and all. Of course she's got green hair and all. Could this last be any more predictable? It's like, yeah, guess what my favourite colour is? 
red see i threw you for a loop there but our favorite color is green so emmanuel wants to vote for a juiced community because that's what we want loves right let's go 12 if any others get through i'll be absolutely fuming there she is oh she's stuck it is i'm not gonna kill her because i'm not giving her that satisfaction i've killed two already and they just come back oh my god emmanuel's an alien e emmanuel he never removed a scat oh you know what what a plot twist oh my I did not see this coming. It kind of fits now as well because isn't the alien stereotype? Actually, can you stereotype an alien because they don't actually exist? As far as we know, there is more chance of them existing than not existing. But the stereotype of aliens is that they're going to ruin the world. And Emmanuel is doing it so flawlessly. You know what I wish for? Like, side note, I wish one day soon that we... <laughs> I don't know why I was so aggressive there. If I'm a little bit aggressive, it's... I'm not mean it now. Am I bullying a year? Can people from The Sims team please raise their hand if they've ever felt victimized by plumbella mcnamara thanking you are you gonna take me hr can you imagine i get to sims camp and the stage of regina george intervention and then tim karoon ninja's like one time plumbella punched me in the face it was awesome frost's like i do not know this girl i've never seen this girl i think my accent inherently is quite aggressive i'm so caring i don't know if that comes across though <laughs> juice community received the most votes like in you right now let me know about my ego footprint my lovelies right that's going down the rest of the world is supposed to move with it isn't it so we're gonna have to say goodbye to Emmanuel for now but it's fine we'll be moving in next door to him so it's all good you know oh can we do father winter father winter is gonna absolutely ruin this town oh my god let me just zoom my little self out the screen right now father winter's absolutely loaded shocked i mean i knew that christmas and capitalism are like you know both together you can't have one without the other but i just didn't expect it to be like this oh my god there he is our angel Emmanuel Emmanuel Barrera Billy, actually, I'm going to get married to Emmanuel. Travel the universe together, not even the world. Oh my God, there's a fire. What is Emmanuel getting up to? Emmanuel. I'm just pretending that there's not a fire at all. Call fire department, let's utilize this new thing. I mean, don't go right next to the fire. Call the fire department, you stupid bastard. Thanking you. Right out my house, boys. Okay. The audacity. Hey, can you keep it down in there? of this alien we are going down but we're still neutral like how are you clearly you are a terrible and inconsiderate neighbor you just made a big mistake i will remember this just walk away. right the next one is dustin broke dustin broke the world it's gonna be a long slog this life for me right it's getting kind of repetitive so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna ruin every single lot in the world and then i'll catch up with you when it's all done and we'll see the effects or i might check with the effects after every house i don't know but you'll still see me when you see me all right give me time give me time look quick update all of this neighborhood is now industrial but the eco footprint is still neutral this one's industrial so i don't know why the other ones aren't i don't know and this one's industrial as well so now just this one and we'll see if it makes a difference i'll catch up with you in a bit my lovelies update i am absolutely knackered i've been recording for way over an hour right now i've been recording for longer than i've recorded for the previous episode every single house in in all of the world this one i haven't changed because this eco footprint was already industrial so that there's not much point but only these two lots are registering as industrial the rest of them aren't even though they've literally all got the exact same things and i've left them for the exact same amount of time but what i think i might do is just jump into one household you know this man nearly died like at least twice the the, the house set on fire right and then he nearly died himself because he was burning because i haven't gave the man a roof over his head and i'm so sorry for this but what i think i might do is fast forward it oh shit he is actually burning to death isn't he i'm sorry no <gasps> <laughs> okay, first, let me put a roof over this man's head so he doesn't die. I'm going to set it to three days. So it's officially Sunday. And I'm going to go to a neighbourhood vote and put both thingy, majiggy. Rough housing encouraged. And I'm going to go to each neighbourhood and... and and not vote for green initiatives oh jesus <laughs> the glow why is this green so that's all that enacted let me offset the hours by like 12 this man's burning i don't have time the blue skies oh she's feeling sad and me too me too Bess. they've went green which they really shouldn't do because every single lot in that one is not green at all even in the slightest i really don't know what i'm doing wrong and i don't think i am doing anything wrong i've went above and beyond the normal required effort Effort that i would expect to make the world industrial and it's still not really doing anything the last thing i can think of is it might not have just been given enough time to be enacted yet i have done everything there's there's no green initiatives being put in place in any single part of the world it's still a neutral footprint i don't all of the initiatives that can be put in place are already put in place and none of them influence 
a green or eco-friendly lifestyle and every single place in the world is still neutral or one place has actually turned green. If anyone from the Sims team's watching this and you're like, no, you're doing this wrong, please, you're doing this wrong, genuinely, please let me know. Every single lot in the world has all the, the necessary objects to make it more industrial. And I'm not seeing one bit of smog. If I am doing everything right and it just doesn't work, it needs to be fine-tuned a lot more, definitely. It needs to be more fine-tuned anyway because, yeah, it's not going to be great if all of you are, well, easily going at this industrial state with all the smog because not everybody likes that. But also, if it's this hard to make it industrial, it kind of negates the whole, let's make everything eco-friendly and stuff because there's no challenge against it. There's no actual threat of anything turning industrial if you don't do this eco-friendly lifestyle. I'm sad. Hopefully the Sims team can watch this and, and fine-tune it a little bit more because I would like to see some repercussion to not living an eco-friendly lifestyle. Do you know what I mean? I just need some opposition. I need some challenge. And I feel like I've done everything right. I've not done any green plans. Every single lot in the world is not eco-friendly. And I've played through weeks and weeks and weeks and still nothing is really happening to the world. So that's that. But well, that's everything that I have for you today. Please let me know what you think of this video. I don't think I'll be doing a part three, honestly. And I just want to reiterate that even though like the industrial part of the world doesn't necessarily work, it's still a very good pack. I just think it could have been taken that one step further if you know, there was actual repercussion to it. Uh, I think it could have been much better in that way. I mean, the eco lifestyle part of the pack is still great. I'm not just shitting on the entire pack. It'd just be even better with the eco stuff. But that's everything I have for you today. I don't have any videos from my dad because he doesn't send me them. So um, every now and again, I'm just going to put a picture of me dad at the end for you to enjoy. So here's one today. Okay, I love you all. See you in the next one. Bye, 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 bye guys. What you know about me? What you, what you know about me? I need the cape. I need the pink boots. I need to be flying through the sky right now because I do lift people's spirits. Yeah.